Hello, it is some asshole here, and today we are going to play a very special game. Yes, we're going to play some Chronicle RuneScape Legends Beta, or Beta, rather. Um, if you're unfamiliar with uh, Chronicle, and I fucking hope you are, it's uh, pretty much Jagex, the, the retards who make uh, RuneScape. It's, it's their answer to Hearthstone, and by answer I mean they just ripped it off and it's really shitty and badly made. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna, it's in, it's in open beta right now, so if you're a fucking retard, uh, feel free to download it and, uh, have some fun with me, you know? You, look how much fun this is, I'm, I'm selecting my cards right now, I'm, uh, I'm battling somebody in a ranked game to show you a little bit of gameplay as I explain just why this game is embarrassingly shitty. And, um, you know, I know, I know what you're thinking, that, uh, you know, you take your first look at this game and you just think like, wow, this is so bad and shitty and just I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from just looking at it. And, uh, well, you're right. It is. It is all of those things. But anyways, here we go. I'm sitting here in card select. Um, you draw your first hand. On your very first hand draw, you can uh, select cards that you want to replace because a lot of times you'll find that you'll draw a first hand full of cards that you absolutely cannot fucking use. So, it's very nice that they let you uh, replace some of them, I guess. So basically, I suppose your first impression will be that uh, the, guy I'm, uh, the guy I'm card battling looks like a rapist mannequin, and uh, yeah, you're right, he does. This whole game is just so shitty and cheap, and just looks like ass. I just, it slays me. Anyways, I'll explain the game a little bit. Right now, basically the, the fundamental aspect of the game is that you're actually not really battling your opponent as much as you're battling yourself like you play cards and you play them against yourself and then your opponent plays cards that they play against themselves as well so it's kind of weird but it, it kind of works it's uh, it's weird at first um i think it'll drive a lot of people that that aspect of the game will make a lot of people uh apprehensive to play it on top of the fact that it's shitty in general but you know after a few games of it it kind of works i don't know why kind of kind of unique but basically, you can play four cards. There's there's five turns as you'll see here, right here. You see you got you got five little like phases, if you will. And in each phase, uh, you have four card slots that you can play. You can play four cards each phase. Is the idea behind the game. And uh, as you'll see with the cards, you'll see they got like a little coin thing, little fire damage thing and health. Well. They're, the heart is how much health they have, the fire is how much damage they have, and at the bottom, you know, that's how many coins they give you. Some, some cards give coins, some cards give health, some cards give damage, whatever. Whatever's on the bottom is what you get for defeating that card. And the problem, the, the very first fucking problem with this goddamn game is that it is 100% based on what cards you draw like right here i think i'm gonna lose right here because i just drew i drew nothing but shitty unusable cards that i couldn't utilize and i think i'm going to lose i think i lose like right here no i think i lose uh, whatever anyways the big problem with this game is that it's not based on skill it's not based on hardly any thought there's barely any thought that you need to put into this it's not a very deep or complex game and you know, it, it's simple, but not in a good way, is what I'm trying to say. And the real problem with this is that, you know, okay, it, it's a card game, right? You know, there's card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon and stuff like that. You know, I, pl I played Pokemon, or I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a fucking dumbass little kid, and I played a little bit of Magic. And, you know, yeah, and, and games like Poker or go fish or something. You know, card games are inherently, whatever they are, Yu-Gi-Oh, poker, whatever, they're inherently based on luck. You know, the luck of which cards you draw. But I have never played a game that has been, you know, aside from maybe something like go fish or old maid or something silly like that, I've never played a card game that is 110% based on the cards you draw and just nothing else. Like there is, in Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, maybe you draw some shitty cards, but um, you know, there were, you could kind of strategize with the cards you got, you know, you could do something with them. You weren't completely fucked usually, you know, like in, a, in an extreme case, maybe you just got a bunch of shitty cards that you couldn't use. But like I said, that was, that would be an extreme case in this game. It's just, it's a hundred percent based on the cards you draw and nothing, 
nothing else, you know, and it's incredibly frustrating. Like, for instance, the way the game kind of works is that you have equipment and spell cards, you know, like you can equip yourself with damage and armor or health, and these cost gold. And then you have effect cards, like, you know, you can steal health from your opponent or you can buff yourself, and these cost gold too. So the idea is, is that you want to have a bunch of easy, killable monsters and you want to be able to kill them for their gold so you can get a little gold pile coming up and then you know you can start activating your spell cards and equipping your equipment cards and stuff like that that's that's the general idea and see if your ass doesn't get any of these gold cards you're fucked like you just can't do anything like i mean and conversely if you just get a bunch of gold cards and nothing else you get fucked too like i think there was a there was a few games i had where i had like 20 gold you know, I had all the gold in the world. I had gold for days, but I wasn't getting anything I could spend it on. Like, I would just lose with like 30 gold because I I drew nothing but gold cards. I couldn't do anything else. I was fucked. Like, that's, that's not fun. That's frustrating as shit, man. Especially like, it's such a simplistic game. Like, yeah, look here, I lose because this cocksucker drew a bunch of decent cards and I drew jack shit nothing. If, if you were wondering what I drew there. It was jack shit nothing. And see, you know, it's just not fun. You know, it's it's not. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I've never been one for card games, really. But uh, I just... I just don't see how people could find this game that fun. Like, it's it's just so based on what you draw and nothing else. You, you live or die based on what you draw. It just sucks. It ain't good. I don't like it. You know... Like, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna battle another Ozan, so you're gonna sit here and look at the fucking weird, shitty... Ugh. That's another thing, man. Like, let, let's go back to that. Like, this game looks like shit. It's so amateurish and just badly put together. Like, damn. Like, I think the UI art looks okay. Um, the card art, like, the, car the design of the cards itself looks okay, but it's just, it's the 3D graphics that just look like shit, man. Like, look at him back there. Ugh. God, ugh. It looks like something you'd find in a dumpster. It's just, it's awful. Oh. So anyways, yeah, I think that, that about sums it up, kind of. I mean, it's just amateurish. It's badly made. It's just, they made it simple and yet so frustrating at the same time. Like, it just, it really sucks. It really feels like shit when you just, like, and sometimes what'll happen is, like, you'll draw a bunch of cards that are too powerful for you to use. Like, like I've had games where I've drawn really powerful monster cards that if I played, I would just die to, you know? Like, I, I couldn't play them or I would die. And my entire hand was just filled with cards too powerful for me to use. And I wasn't getting any of those cards that would let me buff my attack a little bit or get some armor or something like that so I could confront these powerful monster cards. And I was just getting nothing but these cards I couldn't use. And see, you can't discard hands, or you can't discard cards from your hand. You have to play them. And so it's like, sometimes you just get fucked and you get all these cards you cannot use, but you can't get rid of them. You have to either play them or just leave them in your goddamn hand and you can't do, and, and then of course, if you leave them in your hand, you can't draw more cards, so you're just stuck with these shit fucking cards you cannot use and make use of. And you can't draw better cards to eventually try to make use of them. It, it's just... It blows my mind. It just, it really sucks. And it's so goddamn frustrating when it happens. And it happens all the time. Because you see, the minimum deck size of cards that you can have is 30. And the maximum is 35. And this really sucks dick because this is not a complex game. You cannot have a deck that revolves around two or three different strategies. You only have room enough for a single main strategy in your deck. But then you have, like, and once you get all the cards for that strategy, you're left with maybe, like, you know, five or eight spaces that you need to fill. So you just, you can't really have another strategy in that deck, you just have to fill it with a bunch of junky shit filler cards to justify the bullshit fucking requirements of having a minimum or maximum deck size. And it really sucks because like I said, sometimes you just draw a hand full of cards you cannot use 
And because you cannot discard them from your hand, you're stuck with them. And it just sucks. It just sucks dick. It's really frustrating. Because see, all too often in this game, you'll be like, I don't know if I showed you any parts of this in this uh, gameplay I recorded, but there will be times, many times, where you won't be able to play it you know, four cards each phase. So there will be times where you'll play like one or two or even no cards at all. Like you'll just play no cards in a phase and just zoom through it. Like it just, is that is that what the designers had intended for this fucking game? I can't say it was because it sucks balls and it really is not fun. Like, look, I, I beat this guy not because I out strategized him, not because I out skilled him, not because my deck was better. I beat him purely 100% purely because I drew good cards and he didn't. There was nothing there, there was nothing else that affected that. Because there's not enough there's not enough depth in this gameplay uh, for there to be any skill at all. It's not it's not based on skill. The cards are too simple. There's no real strategizing. It's just you draw the cards you need to win or you don't. That's all there is to it. And that really sucks cock. So uh here I'm just going through the uh, games, you know, I'll, I'll give you a little, give you a little looky loo of all the different things you can do. You can check your stats. This is Dungeoneering right here, and uh, I, it's kind of like a draft mode, but I can't play it because I don't have money to play it. <laughs> here's the chronic. Here, here's the little cash shop. You know, give you a little peeky, peeky poo at this. Uh, the way this works is that obviously you can see right there on the upper right or upper left hand corner, you have a. Uh, you can buy cards. I think it's like a 1,500 fucking bronze coins for a single pack of cards. And then, of course, the rest you buy with platinum ingots. And the ingots cost uh, real money. I think uh, right now I'm trying to look at buy ignits, but uh, it opens a web page which fraps didn't pick up. So you can't see that. But uh, the basic, the lowest cost is, uh, I think it's like 150 ingots for $3, for $2.99 American dollars. So... Roughly a dollar fifty for a single pack of cards. That's five cards. So it's not too bad That's that's the one thing I will say is good about this game is that right now uh, There's only like 300 cards or something. So there's not a lot of room for the wallet warrior bullshit So uh, at least right now I'm, that will change I'm sure but right now you know, if you're going to play, I suggest playing never, but right now it probably probably be the best. You know, there's just, there's not a lot of cards. There's not a lot of people who are spending thousands of dollars on getting all the best unobtainable cards or anything like that. So, uh, go, go, go for it if you want. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I, I gotta cut this short. My fucking dickhead YouTube cut me short so I can't, I can only make 15 minute videos so I can't, I can't gripe about this for too long but I think just in closing I think it's just a really bad game I'm, sh I'm showing you some of the cards here it's it's a bit like hearthstone where to my I don't play hearthstone because it's it's shit you know not like not like chronicle is chronicle's a great game as you can as you can tell but uh it's kind of like you got like legends which are like the classes from hearthstone and some a lot of cards are specific to that legend I was trying to show you the list. It's, it shows you like where all the cards in the game were, but I, I couldn't find it. But anyways, in closing, I just think that this is just a shitty... You know, it's, it's a game that is so simple and yet so fundamentally frustrating that it just isn't fun. And it's not going to survive. You know, this game is not going to survive into the year 2018. You can mark my fucking words on that. And that's what really pisses me off. The thing that really pisses me off is how shit this fucking game is. Like, Jagex is a company that just gets to make mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake. Like, they get to just waste money on doomed-to-fail projects. Like, this game is going to be a huge waste of hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. And that just... The fact that Jagex just gets to waste that kind of money and you have all these aspiring game developers who never get that kind of chance and these chuckle-fuck retards just get it just it pisses me off it's a conundrum that pisses me off and <sighs> chronicle runescape legends sucks buffalo dick uh, don't play it don't play it just just don't play it don't play chronicle don't do it just don't do it